international economic theories today we are analyzing. International trade, the situation where a government does not attempt to influence through quotas or duties what its citizens can buy from another country or, or what they can produce and sell to other country. It is able to use for international trade allow a country to specialize in the manufacture and export of products and services that it can be produced efficiently. Import products and produce more on imports may be to producers but not beneficial for consumers. Because Asian on the importable goods may be benefits the products in the market and may increase and products products charities which is in the market. Therefore, it can be negatively affected. Mercantilism mid 16th century is that it is in a country best interest to maintain a trade surplus to export more balance interaction intervention to achieve a surplus in the balance of trade. Mercantilism views trade as a zero sum game. Zero sum game is somehow as much as you are responding your rivals in the game theory, it is very popular to increase and enlarge your market. But while you are doing such uh, tricky businesses for doing price, for example, for capturing more market, will of course negatively affecting your market because your rivals may respond in your actions and they will also reduce the prices. And this is of course similarities, which is in the market continuously maintain and of course bilaterally interactions and of course responding to the price reduction will increase of course the cost and reduce the profit of these firms and this is of course at the end of the game will damage both parties thank you for listening okay